Hello, people. I'm Jabby Kuwait. Joining us is Achara Kirk. Hello. We're going to look at Chef, the film starring Saif Ali Khan and directed and produced by Raja Krishna Menon. This is from T Series Films. It's based on the American film Chef, which stars John Favreau. Favreau yeah. And it was a film that I actually thoroughly enjoyed. If you guys aren't familiar with Chef, it's about a, a guy who's a chef. And he works at a restaurant and then loses, uh, the American version, he loses his job and then decides to have a, um, a, a van, a, a, food a food truck. truck, a food truck, and goes across the country with his son. Yeah. And it's a father-son bonding film. Such a feel-good film as yeah. well. And so the thing about Chef that I appreciated about it was despite it not having a traditional plot in which you have this kind of hero's journey kind uh -huh. of thing, it was really just a, a hangout film which is not something you see very often. The only other thing I can compare it to is episode nine of Master of None, which is like uh, just a hangout episode mm. with, uh, what's his name, that comedian? Um, Aziz Ansari? Aziz, yeah, uh, Aziz Ansari. Yeah, and so it's just a hangout episode. And so that was a hangout film, which was really, really cool to me. I'm actually really looking forward to seeing this adaptation of Chef. So let's check this out. Hi, Baba. Hi, Ari. Papa, holiday se pehle school mein function hai. Main pehli baar perform kar raha hu. Hey, that's great, yeah. Ab function attend kar sakte hai? I mean, I'd like to come. Oh no. But... <laughs> it's okay. Oh. Apne bete ke saath koi relationship nahi rahegi, to teen mission stars bhi kisi kaam ke nahi hai. Khali so yummy. Bete ki koi acha baap nahi ban jata. That's true. It's great ki tum uski performance ke liye aage. He adores you. I am adorable. Just because you are so hot, I am not understand you. Hey, Pata, you get the best chole bhature. What is chole bhature? You can't talk about the Roshan Kala that you can't talk about the Roshan Kala. Aww. Oh, it's certainly got the father-son bonding yeah. experience. Oh, God. I'm so hungry now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh Where's God, the food the truck? It looks so good. Oh, there it is. Is that the food truck? Must be. Is he doing a food truck? He needs his dad. He's going to go back to the next day. Calm, calm, love, 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 Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. That was the that was the food truck. We're restaurant. We're talking about restaurant. We're talking about tank. But we don't want to attack anyone. We don't want to attack anyone. And that's what we're doing. Akbar, this is what you feel like when you made Taj Mahal. Why? Because Taj Mahal is Akbar. Shah Jahan has made it. This looks this looks fun. Just like yeah. you know, the original look was really fun. So. Yeah. I, I'm looking forward to this. Ooh, I'm salivating. <laughs> the age of digital love. Yeah. You know? But. Yes, I'm not working on it. What? Nothing. What did you say? Ari. This is playing up the conflict in a more traditional way, mm -hmm. which is fine. It's the other way that Chef could have gone. And so what you have is in the American version, it's more that the son is just kind of there and he's very yeah. patient. He's recording his dad's journey and I don't want to spoil it for you guys. Like there's not a whole lot to spoil, but in the American version, the son's just very patient about it. Yeah, or, he's he's very he's much more yeah. chill. And and so in this version, the the son is more vocal about that desire to have that relationship with his dad, right. which is a totally different feeling from the original chef. But I appreciate that. Like yeah. that's just a different way to go about it, and that helps separate it or distinguish it from its American counterpart. So I actually think that this could be a cool version in itself. It also yeah. feels a little bit more plot driven than the original one. Like the original one was just simple hanging out whereas this one feels like it has a little bit more focus in terms of its plot yeah and what's exciting to me about this one is it feels like it has its own flavor do you like that little <laughs> food pun right there Ding! 
Um, yeah, Dring? no. <laughs> but um, um, yeah. Oh my god. I'm, you know, it's a chara flare. It, yeah. it goes a ringing sound. Anyway, my point is, I really like that it has its own little flavor. It's a uh, Indian flair, if yeah. you will. So it's like a dad reigniting his relationship with his son and being more of a father to yeah. him. But not only that, what looks interesting to me is just all the beautiful vistas in the film and the amazing food and cuisine of India. So I'm thinking you're going to get to see a lot of just beautiful shots of the country yeah. as well as lots and lots of good food. And if you know me, you know I love good food. Right. That is actually a pretty cool concept to just essentially take that journey that Sean, John Favreau has in the American version and have it in India yeah. and explore the different cool food locations in India <sighs> and it, by educating his son he's also kind of educating his audience for people who can't travel all that much. Mm -hmm. The funniest thing is in the American version of Chef like everywhere he traveled pretty much in the order that he did is what I did in real life. Oh yeah? Yeah. I mean, not... And you had the beignets at the uh, World Cafe. Yeah. But I mean, I mm. I wasn't going from one location to the next. I mean, I went there, I came back to LA, went there, came back to LA, right. etc. The funniest thing is like what you're saying is being the more Indian flair. I actually find this a little bit ironic because the Indian one seems to be more plot driven mm -hmm. and the American one was more feeling driven. Oh, yeah. Whereas this one is more, usually it's the other way. Usually the Indian films are more feeling driven and the American films are more plot driven. So I just find that kind of interesting. Not that one country owns the way you do a film over the other, It's just, but it's just interesting to me that, that you know typically it's the other way around. And what I like about this as well is it doesn't feel like a straight copy. It definitely feels like it's taken inspiration from Chef. Well, the Do you know dad, what I mean? The dad is more of an overt jerk in this one. <laughs> and he's got a like a, a, a more bottom he's got to come up to. His journey is a little bit bigger. Whereas John Favreau, is, he was pretty much always there with his son. He just didn't appreciate his mm -hmm. son on the level that he should have been. But he was pretty much always in his son's life. Like that wasn't yeah. gonna change at all. This character, the two characters are definitely very yeah. different. They're both passionate about food yes. on a level that is insane and, and how you know passionate people should be about the things they love. The way they are entering the beginning of the story with that relationship with their son is totally different. But I think it's also different in uh, at least what I remember of Chef, the American version, was he was good at his job but he didn't love it. And doing the food truck was exploring the food that he genuinely loved. Whereas I feel in this version, no. he actually really does genuinely enjoy no, his he, job. He but I might it. be wrong. No, he, it's not that you're wrong. It's that you're just remembering the details a little bit different. Hmm. In the American version, he loved his. He loved cooking. He loves food. Yeah. It's not that. It's that the company he was working for didn't appreciate his ability well, yeah, and the creativity. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like every time he tried to bring something to it, they, the, the guy was like no. mess, you yeah. know, messing with his menu when he's the chef. I didn't see anything in here about his career getting kind of blown up on YouTube the way it yeah. did in the American counterpart. So The social media aspect yeah. in the American one was a, a that, big part of the story. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be present here, which is totally fine. It's interesting to see what the film looks like without that. Anyways, you guys, let us know in the comments, especially if you have seen the American version, I would love to hear what you think of this Indian adaptation, I should say. I, I'm very, very curious to hear what else you guys think, and you know, just comparing the two. And if you haven't seen the American one at all, how do you feel about this? Because this is not like any other Indian film that I'm familiar with. Even in that regard, uh, on its own, it's interesting to consider. Mm -hmm. You guys, let us know in the comments below, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out Achara Kirk on the social media. If you're interested in helping to support the channel, please go to patreon.com slash jabbykoi. There are tiers of rewards. If you're interested in that, uh, yeah, check out other reactions, reviews, short films, and video game-related videos. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.